Hey everyone, Nick from Narc Comics here. Um, I got some pickups and some um, reading material that I've been reading for the past week. Um, it's gonna be a short video. I only have four books. I picked up four books today from Sparrows Heroes Comics in Chatworth, Chatsworth, California. Um, and then I also have been reading um, a series this past week. So without further ado, let's get into it. We have a good mix today. Um, two moderns, a bronze and a silver. Um, so first up with the moderns for $5. It's a little bit beat up. It has a little bit of a Spine tick, but Witchblade number 10. This is the first appearance of the Darkness or Darkness. Um, really cool. I like Witchblade. Um, not as much as Spawn, but Spawn's getting kind of harder to find because everyone's collecting Spawn. So I like the Witchblade. I like some of the 90s. I, I know 90s gets a lot of bad rap, but Gen 13's cool. Witchblade's cool. Spawn's cool. So I'm going to be moving more into those, I think, um, if I do collect moderns i also do like bronze and silver a little bit more so if i am collecting moderns or copper i guess they're called now um it's going to be more towards those series not so much random ones um for six bucks we have uh ghost rider number 31 this is the first full appearance of the midnight suns uh so really cool to have great cover it's polybagged but the polybag is ripped open the poster's still in there um I have an unpolybagged copy too. So second copy of this, you never know with the Midnight Suns and for $6, cool Andy Kubert cover. Andy Kubert and Joe Kubert, both of them. So I thought that was cool. Um, really nice copies. So first one is a really early bronze, late silver, 15 cent cover, uh, where monsters dwell number two. Really nice copy. I think this is probably like an eight zero. Um, eight five maybe even two. There's really nothing on the spine. A little bit of yellowing. Um, in this series, there's no real keys, but they do have reprints, like early reprints of Fin Fang Foom and Groot. So those ones are a little bit on the pricier side, and by pricey I mean like seventy dollars maybe. Um, but this is a really cool series. Um, I believe there are a bunch of stories that read almost like one shots um that are just like bronze monster horror books uh yeah like barely even horror to be honest with you more like monster books hence the name where monsters dwell so we have like a monster named taboo um and spore so the colors are really nice on this book uh they gave me a really good deal on everything and then finally for the new pickups, this series only has 10 issues. This is the first one I've ever picked up in the series, but I really like the covers. I don't know if, oh, they're Nick Cardi covers. They are Nick Cardi. Um, this is the Spectre number eight. The series has really great covers. They're all Nick Cardi, uh, I believe. Uh, and there's only 10 issues. So I don't think there's any big major keys in this run too. So that's gonna keep the price down. But this is again, like an eight five copy. Um, so really cool to have. I've been wanting to work on the Spectre run. I really think Spectre's a cool character. Never gonna get his first appearance, so we'll go off to that. I think it's Showcase 60, his first Silver Age appearance. Um, but Spectre and Where Monsters Dwell were definitely my two favorite books of the day. Uh, so I'm glad to add these both to my collection. Moving on to what I've been reading this week. Um, kind of like how moderns get a bad rap. I think Donnie Cates kind of gets a bad rap too. I don't think he's great on uh, like superhero books. Hulk was pretty good and uh, Thor isn't horrible, but he kind of gives up halfway through. When he does his own creator own stuff, it's awesome. So I'm reading Vanish. I just finished the third issue reading. Um, I believe I'm gonna give some spoilers here, but Halcyon just showed up. It really reminds me of like The Boys, but not funny, not humorous. It's really dark. Um, it's wizards and um, it's like a mix of The Boys and Harry Potter almost. Um, the Boy Who Lived versus uh, versus Homelander, I guess now at this point. Um, it's really cool. It's really good so far. I really like the first three issues. Um, my store never got in number four. So I found number four today, um, and then five and six I had. So I'm really excited. I'm Right after this video is done, I'm gonna go crack into number four, five, and six and read them. Um, it's been awesome so far. So I really highly recommend this one. 
uh, if you haven't already checked it out. But yeah, again, another short video. That's everything that I, I bought this week and I'm reading. Um, I also am still reading over here. I have it right here. Uh, Batman, Court of Owls. Um, I did get a little bit sidetracked and started reading Vanish. So I'm going to get back into this afterwards. It wasn't the, the second arc starting has not been as good as the first arc, to be honest with you. So we're going to crack back into this and see if it picks up again. The Court of Owls was really cool, but if I'm going to recommend a book this week, it's Vanish. Read this one. Um, again, everything I picked up, uh, everything I've been reading, uh, hopefully we'll have another video next week. Parker and I are going to a convention next week. So we'll have some cool pickups and some cool books that we're both working on. I'm really trying to finish Black Panther. I really need that one last book. And then I really want to work on, since I got a demon number one and some other demon copies, uh, work on that demon run. And then Fantastic Four still, and now Spectre. So that's everything I'm gonna be looking for. If I see some cool keys here and there, I would like to get a Conan signed by Roy Thomas because he's doing a CGC signing, but if I see some cool keys here or there, um, I'm going to jump on them. So we'll have a video next week of that convention, but everything I picked up and everything I've been reading. Thanks for watching.